Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've got a loft haul for you and I've got so many items that range from a blazer all the way to a sweatshirt and everything in between. So let's get right into the haul. This top is adorable and so comfortable. It is a puff sleeve, also eyelet sleeve, Henley style top. Look at the detail on that puff sleeve. I think it's so beautiful. It does have a little bit of stretch here um, and just this little band, but it is super comfortable and soft. It's not really tight. The buttons do are functional down here. Here, I'm not sure. There are little button slits, but they are closed. So I don't know if that's something you can open or not, but personally, I. I love it like this anyway. I think it just shows off your necklace and it's really flattering on your neckline. Uh, the rest of it is more of like a ribbed cotton. It is 92% cotton and about 8% spandex. That's what gives it the stretch. If I didn't mention it, this is a size small. I often size down when I am shopping at the loft. Um, I don't know if it's vanity sizing or what, but their, their pieces do tend to run a little bit big. Full price was $59.50. I paid approximately $37 for this totally worth it. I love it. If it comes in other colors, I'm considering purchasing those as well. Um, I, it is a little, I wouldn't say it's too long, um, but this is worn uh, untucked. If you wanted to tuck it in though, it is definitely really um, slimming and it's not too bulky. So you could easily tuck this into any like high-waisted shorts or jeans or a skirt. I think it would be super cute. So first off, love this top. I have to say Lou and Gray is my absolute favorite inside the loft. Every time I go to that store, that is the first section that I hit just to see what they have that's new. This one came home with me, of course. It is a cotton polyester blend sweatshirt. I love this kind of more rounded scoop neck on it. Got it in a size small. Full price is $69.50. I paid approximately $38 for it. I'm just gonna say I would pay $70 for this sweatshirt. That's how good this thing is. Um, again, with Lou and Gray, I would probably size down on a lot of their pieces. They tend to run pretty big. Uh, let me just show you in the size small how low it hits me. I'm wearing black shorts, so you just need to see where that's at. So a size small fits me here if I pulled it all the way down. So if you wanted to, to go sizes up to maybe be able to throw it on over um, other things and have a baggier fit, you could totally do that. But I don't really like to to do that. I like my sweatshirts to kind of fit more normal. I like to do tucks with them if I want to, but yeah, it's still big enough that I could put this over something and still be comfortable. Love this sweatshirt. Totally worth the money. Next up are a linen and viscose blend black pull on short. I believe they're about a three inch inseam, which is my limit. I don't like to go any shorter than that. Um, as you can see my fingertips here, they're just above that. They are pleated and they are pull on. So um, the pleating though is very minimal. There's only two small pleats here and then it has just a nice flat band all the way around. So that's how I feel like I can get away with wearing uh, pleated shorts. I normally do not as a pair shape. I just don't wanna add any bulk here, but these are fine. I love that they have the side slit pockets and not anything boxy and they have no pockets in the back, which I love, especially with a linen short. I really don't need back pockets and I don't want that extra in the back either. So I think these are just great and you can dress them up or down, but of course I just have them on as like my super casual, like almost like a jean shorts look. I just have some uh, Birkenstocks on my shorts and in that sweatshirt and this is just like a super casual look. If this outfit looks familiar, it's because it is. It's very similar, almost identical to a look I featured in the last Abercrombie haul, except this one is actually featuring uh, the loft jacket and the loft shorts with the Abercrombie bodysuit, which I've fallen in love with and I'm ordering every color. So this jacket, uh, it made a cameo in that video. This jacket is a size six. It is a, I believe, cotton polyester blend beautifully created. I love the details on this. It has the silky inside. It has a navy like pinstriped lining. It has this beautiful soft texture, almost like a soft um, 
just cotton blanket, like those cotton throws you can put on your bed. It has that texture and feel. It has really pretty buttons. Uh, full price, it's approximately $130. I paid about $61 for it. So I hope it's still available, you guys. It's such a great jacket. I did get it in a size six, which is unusual for me. I normally get an eight in uh, loft blazers, but because this one has that cotton and the polyester, it's like a little stretchy, which again, makes it so comfortable as a blazer. To give you a close up of the texture, I actually had questions on this in the last video. Is this navy or black? It's actually navy, and that's what they say on the website. But because the navy is such a deep, dark navy and actually textured, it works with black. So if you have navy or any other colored shorts, I think you could pull this off no problem. Uh, you could even wear it with bright shorts. I think that would be super fun if you had like a coral look going on or, you know, just a really fun seasonal color yellow. You could pull it off because of the navy. But I'm wearing it with black and I just love the look. I think it just adds a little bit more texture to the look. So yeah, great find. This next little elevated t-shirt is again a Lou and gray piece. It is a size small as uh, the one I'm showing it right now. Pretty true to size for Lou and gray for me. It is called the soft serve muscle tee. And I pretty much agree with that. It is very soft, um, but it's 100% cotton, which is super important for me during the summer. And even though it's a muscle tee, it's not quite a muscle tee. Um, a true one would be up a little higher and really square off your shoulders, which I tend to not like. So this one kind of comes down a little bit more. It's got a little bit of a feminine feel to it. And it actually has a little bit of like a roll over here, but it's put together so well that it doesn't seem like one of those ones that's gonna curl on you a lot and get really annoying. So I like that. I also love that the um, it's a little bit of a rounded scoops down uh, on the neckline so that you can wear a smaller chain or a pretty necklace if you want to. But again, if you wanted to wear a huge statement piece necklace to dress it up a little bit, I think you could get away with that. You just have to play with the styling on it. I have it tucked into some older Lou and Gray, super cozy wide leg pants. I'll back up and just show you how I styled it. Really simple today. These things are literally like pajamas. I will untuck it here just to show you. I like to tuck my things in just to give myself a waist, but this does have that kind of rounded bottom that comes up on the side. So it's very doable, especially if you have a longer torso to leave out if you just want a looser fitting top. It's totally fine to do that, but I just, again, personally like to tuck mine in. I um, wanted to mention that it is not see-through at all. I'm just wearing a regular nude bra, and that's what I love about this. It's like a tank top, but better. Oh, so good. And um, I'm gonna show you the other color I bought. If I didn't tell you the price already, uh, $34.50 full price, but I paid $20.70 for each. Of them. Before we continue with the video, if you need any of my sizing or the you know need to remember what items that I talked about or what sizes I showed them in or any shoppable links, please make sure that you go to my description box. Just click on the title, everything will drop down, and you will find all the links and all the information there. Here is the same exact soft serve muscle tee, but just in a different color. They have multiple color options. I thought this was a beautiful soft neutral though that could go with a lot. Um, again, I just paired it with the black slip-on shorts that I featured a few minutes ago. But these tops are so cute that I think you could buy multiple and just wear them with your jeans, but also you're able to tuck them into things and throw jackets or sweaters, cardigans over the top. So I think they're just a really great piece for summer. Um, just one of your like staple classics you could keep, but it's a little bit elevated with the unique sleeve. This pair of shorts are so cute. They are called the Botanical Print and they are a linen viscose blend. I got them in a size medium and they are just a higher waist pull on short. They do have them in other prints and solids, but for some reason, I just really loved this look and I think it'd be really fun to wear also if you wanted to pop up the color with like a pink or a um, green top if you can wear green, whatever you wanna do. But I, you know, these are wild enough for me, so I. I just stuck with my blouse that I didn't know I needed. This is actually from my last Abercrombie haul. Just love this blouse. I'm actually going to be using it to show you a couple of other bottoms as well. These shorts are, I believe, $49.50 full price. I paid $35 for them. Again, my true size medium. They um, are probably a four inch, I would say, inseam. And you can see my 
arms right there but I do have long arms just to let you know <laughs> and these can be even though I have them pulled up more like a high waist they can be dropped a little bit if you need them to but I like where this is hitting on me I love the little slip pockets again just like the uh, black shorts that I showed they do not have rear pockets as well which I love in a lightweight short and they definitely have more of a linen feel but they're not itchy at all and uh, they are unlined super comfortable i just think they make the look i don't know this print is too much i think it's fun for vacation i think it's fun for just being out and about when you're you know running errands i think it just brings a little bit of life to your outfit especially if you're more in conservative colors like i always am uh, again i paired it with this puff sleeve little top and i just put those braided sandals from walmart on but you could put any sandals that you're comfortable in or even wear white tennies or something like that with them. I think that would be cute as well. Here is a close up of that print. It is blowing it out a tiny bit. Um, it's showing a little less green in the green tones. They are a little brighter than this, but they are so fun. But I love that they're small enough that I don't feel like they're overwhelming on the body. In my last haul, I was talking about struggling to find shorts. Well, as you can see, I found shorts and I still have another pair to show you. But I think this is a lovely, lovely substitute and it's so feminine. They're calling this a Godet skirt. I'm not sure what exactly that means, but I love it. I've already worn it and got compliments. I had someone stop me in the store to tell me they loved my skirt. It is adorable. I think it's a very flattering length and it is definitely just instead of shorts, throw this on with just about anything and you could just do whatever you need for the day. But again, because it's a lovely length skirt, you could dress this up and wear it to work if needed. It also comes in a ton of different prints. So if this blue navy polka dot is not for you, they definitely had like more floral options and lighter little fabrics. It's just so cute. I believe it was $69.50 full price. I paid approximately $48 for it. It's just a pull on stretch band and it has a little bit of a high low if you can see that on the side. So the skirt is just very flattering and it comes down to about here and then it just has a little bit of what I would call almost like a scalloped ruffle that's just enough to give you some movement but isn't as quite like tiered like my last haul and it doesn't fluff out quite so A-line. So it just skims the body really beautifully. I love it. Um, you could wear this with multiple different top options. You could even probably pull this into the fall if you wanted to put a long sleeve top or a cardigan, cute little sweater over it. Um, again, I just have it paired with some sandals, but again, this could go casual with tennis shoes as well or be dressed up with some nice flats. I think it's a great find. I got it in a size medium and it is a rayon, very thin, lightweight material a close-up of that fabric and I wanted you to see the little scalloped if you can with the ruffle so you can see it kind of drops down and then it goes a little higher but I think that just what adds to the movement of the skirt and it is a true larger polka dot navy. I think I found a perfect solution for shorts especially if you're pear-shaped or have wider legs. These are a cotton eyelet pull on short and um, you can see the eyelet clearly here. I'll get probably a little closer in a minute. And then it obviously has like a lining underneath it to make them appropriate to wear, but they kind of fluff out like a skirt. If you can see that when I put my legs closer together here, you can see that it pops out like a skirt and it's not hugging the legs, which is very flattering. And as you're from the side, it even almost looks like a skirt. So these are just adorable. I love these. I believe I paid about $38 for them. Regular price, I wanna say they were 49. I got them in a size medium. So that's a really good fit. They are just the straight panel in the front with again, two very small pleats like uh, the black ones as well. So it's basically the same cut. They just added the eyelet and they added the little bit of scalloping at the bottom for some detail. I love these shorts. I think they're just really a fun look and I just have them again paired with this same Abercrombie shirt and I put the nude colored sandals from Walmart on. I think these are the type of shorts that you could wear even to like a baby shower or to um, a you know less casual little event if someone's having something in their yard or in the garden. I think that you could easily dress these up and make that happen. And I love that about them because again, they're just shorts. You could throw on a cute little elevated tee and some tennis shoes or even put on some wedges and you know, it could just go so many ways. 
I did want to mention though, um, what I'm noticing with the navies in this loft haul is many of them don't quite mix. I had originally purchased this thinking the eyelet and the eyelet would match and it would all be navy and I could have just like one really cool monochromatic outfit. But unfortunately they are very different shades of navy and so it doesn't work. And the eyelet is actually a little bit different as well. So in case you were wondering that, it doesn't quite work. And then this doesn't work with the navy skirt that I have with the polka dots either. It's just way too much and a little bit off on the shades. So thought I'd mention that. So excited because I found another piece to add to what I call my uniform. I've been on the hunt for a navy and white sailor inspired sweater for about two years. Let's just say I've kissed a lot of frogs, but here's my prints. I got it in a size small. It is 100% cotton. It has the split v-neck, which I love. It has some beautiful like white detail on the edging and then also around the wrist. And I love where it hits so that it shows off any jewelry or watches that you have. But it does, if you pull it down, have a little bit of that um, sleeve that kind of comes out a little bit and then tucks back in. I have it front tucked because this is just what I would do, but um, pulling it out, I can just show you it has a looser fit. Uh, again, for a size small, it has plenty of room, but it's not swallowing me up at all. If you want it extremely oversized, I'd probably up, go up about one size. I like that it has a little bit of a high-low in the back. I think this would be really cute with white jeans. It would also look great dressed up a little bit or if you wanted to put it on even with those like black linen shorts because the navy is such a dark stripe, you could easily do that. There's just so many options with this. But again, I like to just sort of tuck things because it's just a habit now. I have it paired with my Everlane jeans that I just forever have, my button flies, and then I paired it with the Birkenstocks because this is exactly what I mean by my uniform. This is how I would dress on a daily basis. This is the kind of thing I normally wear. Love this. And if I haven't told you the price already, I believe I paid $38 for it. I think full price it's $69.50. So again, you cannot beat the deals whenever they do that at Loft. You get things almost half off. Love, love, love. That does it for today's loft haul. I hope you found some good inspiration and some fun pieces that you can add to your summer collection. And I was just so impressed with these shorts that the loft is carrying this summer. I cannot believe that I found at least three pairs of shorts and then that adorable skirt. I might go back in and see what other prints they have because the skirts were just perfection. You just slip it on and go. And again, my sweater, which you're going to probably see on repeat. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below, what were your favorite pieces and do you like shopping the loft? All right, until next time, I'll see you soon.